six-time world champion Lewis Hamilton is now the highest paid sportsman in Formula 1 history. The British driver has banked an amazing $489 million in career earnings, topping that of former all-time earner and seven-time champion Michael Schumacher. Lewis made over $57 million for Mercedes in 2019 alone, including salaries and bonuses. Away from the track, Lewis is famous for his colorful clothing and celebrity friends, everyone from Kate Hudson to the Kardashians to the Biebs himself. In 2015, Mercedes F1 boss Total Wolf said that Lewis is probably the only superstar in Formula 1, and if you've ever taken a look at his Instagram page, then you know he sure lives like it. And he's also got the homes to prove it. Lewis Hamilton is an F1 race car driver who's accumulated both wealth and all kinds of trophies since joining Mercedes in 2013 after jumping ship from McLaren. In the space of seven years, he's won six world championships and amassed 63 of his 84 career wins. This sporting hero dreamt of being a race car icon from the tender age of just four years old when his dad, Anthony Hamilton, first bought him a remote control car. Lewis would use the car to compete in championship races as a child, and he once finished second in the National BRCA Championship. After that, Lewis's father bought him a go-kart for Christmas when he was six, developing his son's passion and talent for driving that would turn him into such a success story later on in his life. Lewis has said about that time in his life. To be honest, it started out as a hobby, something for my dad and I to do together. At one point, my dad had four jobs just to keep us carting. He gave up everything for me. I wouldn't be a champion if it wasn't for my dad. His father's sacrifice ensured that his son would one day be able to afford the nicest of homes to live in, including penthouses in New York City, a Victorian mansion in London, a secret getaway in Geneva, a tax haven in Monaco, and a love nest in Granada. Hi guys, it's Kara, and today we're taking a look at the lineage of homes that superstar F1 driver Lewis Hamilton lives in here for you on Famous Entertainment. With Lewis's most recent victory at the Grand Prix in Spielberg, Austria and his activism in support of the Black Lives Matter movement, Lewis is in the news more than ever and you guys have been asking me to take an inside look at where he lives. Well today I'm going to do just that. Don't forget to like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you never miss a vid. We've also done house tours and likes of Floyd Mayweather and Steph Curry and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Last year, Lewis reportedly dropped a cool $40 million on this penthouse in Manhattan. This condo project is part owned by NFL great Tom Brady and his supermodel wife Giselle Bunchen. Lewis's neighbors reportedly include the likes of Jennifer Lawrence and Austin Powers himself, Mike Myers. This 6,547 square foot home includes a huge outdoor space with multiple setback terraces, offering Lewis a spacious setting from which to enjoy the dramatic city, river, and sunset views over top the Hudson River. It also features a swimming pool, fitness center, squash court, library, and wine cellar. The kitchen is of course top of the line, and each room features floor to ceiling windows to ensure stunning views 24 7. After purchasing that penthouse, Lewis then listed this apartment he purchased back in 2017 from $43.9 million. This 8,900 square foot unit features five bedrooms with six bathrooms and is located in the Tribeca neighborhood of New York City. Tribeca has been ranked as the highest priced neighborhood in Manhattan for the past several years and Lewis put his place on the market for $57 million. If you've got that kind of cash just lying around then you can snatch this place up and live in the same building as the likes of Meg Ryan, Jake Gyllenhaal, Bella Hadid, The Weeknd and Justin Timberlake. This building was once a former factory and retained some of its industrial feel with wooden beams and support brackets in a double height living room. It features floating stairs to get between its three floors and also features an in-unit private elevator just in case you feel like taking it easy for a night. The living room has an abundant amount of natural light coming through its tall windows and the subdued kitchen uses Christopher Peacock cabinetry with chef quality appliances and pendant style overhead lighting. The master bedroom has a gas lit fireplace and is attached to a spa like bathroom and separate dressing room. Outside is a private terrace featuring a plunge pool and glass walled room that can be used for entertaining in a warm place just in case that New York City weather is being a little temperamental. Inside of that room is a gas fireplace, wet bar and half bathroom. 
The monthly maintenance fees for this place are around 16 k which provide for 24-hour doorman, concierge, superintendent, upkeep for the large lobby courtyard, a children's playroom, exercise facilities with a 75-foot pool, and Turkish steam bath spa. Perhaps most amazing of all, after spending all that money on this place, Lewis reportedly never actually lived in it before placing it back on the market. One place that Lewis most definitely spends more time at is the Victorian mansion he owns in Kensington, West London. This home is a four-story mansion that features six luxurious bedrooms and two gigantic bathrooms. The property also boasts a huge kitchen and special dining area for parties, including four reception rooms to be used for entertaining and casual gatherings that spills out into a 200-foot lush green garden, which also contains an amazing summer house. Lewis purchased this home back in 2017 from previous owners Burberry chief designer Christopher Bailey and his husband actor Simon Woods. The property is believed to have been originally built by Samuel Adams in 1860 and is estimated to be worth around $25 million. Alright, these next few I'm gonna go through a little more quickly because specific details on them are a little hard to come by. But here's what we know. First of all, Lewis owns an apartment in Geneva, Switzerland. This is a secret property that Lewis tries to keep on the down low and he uses it as his Swiss retreat. It's reportedly a three bedroom apartment in a six story building located in Lewin's village, Nyon. Fernando Alonso, Felipe Massa, and other F1 driver extraordinaire Michael Schumacher are said to be residents in the same abode. It's believed that the apartment boasts some incredible views of Lake Geneva and is the perfect place for Lewis to clear his head with all the natural peace and tranquility of its setting. A whole lot of Formula One drivers have a home in Monaco and Lewis is no different. Not only is Monaco home to one of the most famous races in all Formula One racing, it's also a tax-free city, which means that Lewis gets to keep all the millions he earns without the tax collector reaching in to take their cut. So right off the bat, that's a huge bonus for a man baking the type of cash he currently is. His apartment is reportedly located in the exclusive Fonteville district, which has a population of just over 3,000 people. Specific details on this apartment are almost as hard to come by as his Geneva home, but it's believed that Lewis dropped around 15 million to get a hold of this property, which considering the aforementioned tax breaks, means this place has probably already paid for itself a hundred times over. The apartment is said to be 2,000 square feet and features four bedrooms with multiple bathrooms, a steam room, and a 300 square foot sun terrace for enjoying what must be some absolutely gorgeous views. Finally, we come to one last gigantic real estate purchase that Lewis made back in 2008 when he invested $30 million for the land to house a former hotel in Granada. His father is originally from Granada and Lewis purchased this property while in a relationship with Nicole Scherzinger, intending to turn it into a love nest. Lewis had an Italian developer tear down the former property and create a personalized home that featured a built-in recording studio, private gym, gourmet kitchen, sunset lounge, and private jetty that boasted the best views in all the Caribbean. However, after Lewis split with Nicole, he wanted to offload the property, having never even lived there, much like with his apartment in Tribeca, resulting in a lawsuit between himself and the Italian developer. At the age of just 17 years old, Max Verstappen became the youngest ever athlete to compete as a Formula One driver at the Australian Grand Prix in 2015. In fact, Max competed for about a year in Formula One before he ever obtained his actual run-of-the-mill driver's license. Since then, he's now taken home the Formula One World Championship twice while driving for Red Bull Racing. Throughout his still relatively short career, Max has amassed a small fortune worth roughly $40 million, making him the second best paid driver in the sport behind Lewis Hamilton, according to Forbes magazine. When this young dynamo isn't crisscrossing his way all over the world as fast as he possibly can, you'll find him slowing down just enough to enjoy his life at home, located in Fontevie, Monaco, a gorgeous spot that overlooks a plentiful number of super yachts, Harbored in Cap Die. The day after he turned 18 years old, Max Verstappen moved out of his parents' place and into an apartment that's the ideal type of bachelor pad millions of males his own age fantasize about owning. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Something that Max himself hinted at when he was asked why he chose Monaco as his home away from home. Telling the Gentleman's Journal, 
know, one of the best things about living in Monaco is the quality of life. I think where you choose to live is really important when you're away a lot. Of course, Max Verstappen is far from the only F1 star who's chosen to live in this glittering and pristine city state. Other stars like Lewis Hamilton, Charles Leclerc, and Lando Norris have also put down roots here. Probably because Monaco is well known all around the world for two things its luxurious surroundings, and its ability to function as a tax-free haven for residents. Over the years, whenever he's been asked, Max has insisted that he did not select his home because of the implicit tax benefits. And while you might not believe that, one thing that's kinda working in Max's favor is that he doesn't actually own his home. When Max Verstappen moved to Monaco, he didn't put any money down on his apartment that's rumored to be worth as much as $16 million. Instead, he decided to rent it. To me, that suggests that Max doesn't plan on spending the rest of his life living out of Monaco. He's probably just looking to capitalize on the wild social life it has to offer, especially considering how young he still is. And is it any surprise that after a night out on the town, Max is occasionally had to stumble home a little worse for wear? That video also provided us with just about the best glimpse we've ever had of inside Max's place, showing off an apartment that's simple, but spacious and includes white walls as well as wooden floors. While Max has been hesitant to reveal other parts of his apartment online, a few glimpses of the inside have occasionally slipped through the cracks, such as this look into his chic lounge area. This room boasts a cowhide rug underneath a modern black coffee table and some unique animal artwork hanging on the walls. Once while packing for a business trip, Max also gave us a peek into his stylish bedroom that comes complete with a padded headboard with a geometric detailing and matching black bed linen. One of the things Max spends the most amount of time at home doing is keeping himself in peak physical condition. He does so with a home gym that takes full advantage of Monaco's typical 300 days a year of sunshine with most of his equipment having been set up on a lengthy stretch of belt that overlooks the Mediterranean Sea. Known as Max's happy place, this gym boasts necessary equipment like kettlebell weights, an exercise bike, and a frame for bungee poles that ensures an intense cardiovascular endurance, strength, and high intensity workouts. According to Max's performance coach, Bradley Skeins, Max trains six times a week with two sessions a day for seven to eight weeks at a time. And going by some of the workout regimens that he's posted online, I don't doubt that he is always pushing himself to the limits. One of the more unusual workout devices Max owns is a piece of equipment that's specifically built to build up the muscles in his neck so that he can endure a maximum speed of six Gs while taking a tight turn during a race. Paying attention to details like neck extension along with lateral flexion is what helps set Max apart from the other athletes in his sport. And another thing that he takes more seriously than almost anyone else is his virtual training. Whenever Max returns home to Monaco, he loves to hop into his sim racer, which he generally doesn't let anyone else go near. This high-end simulation racing arcade machine set Max back thousands of dollars, especially considering that he had his custom made with a play seat ultimate f1 cockpit worth two thousand eight hundred dollars an lm pro steering wheel that retails for eighteen hundred dollars a set of ultimate pedals that cost roughly one thousand one hundred dollars and a sim steering system that could cost as much as four grand when he isn't on the road max hops into this simulator every day and races as a member of his sim racing organization team redline in between racing online and in real life he'll occasionally ease up on the throttle by taking to the water instead of the land. With that gorgeous Monaco Harbor sitting just outside his home, is it any surprise to learn that Max has been recorded riding a number of jet skis in and around the coast? In point of fact, relaxing on the open water is one of Max's favorite pastimes. And he once told the Gentleman's Journal, Sometimes you just take the boat and park it up somewhere in a little bay, or you take the jet skis out, explore the coast, and have a bit of fun. Doing that in Monaco sounds so enjoyable, it should probably be illegal. 
Speaking of fun, with as popular a driver as Max has become in F1 over these past few years and the intrigue that comes with living in a spot as wealthy as Monaco, the folks who sponsor Max over at Red Bull decided to capitalize on all that interest by creating an interactive game that allows Max's fans to take a tour of a cartoonish version of his home base. Sure, by no means it represents what Max's apartment actually looks like, but for those of you interested in his story, playing through the game will provide you with a bit more backstory on his come up and how he enjoys living in Monaco. All right, before we finish, let's take a look at one last place, Max's home away from home in the sky. This next location might not be somewhere that Max actually lives, but considering how often he has to cross the globe to get from one race to the next, he sure does spend a lot of time in inside of his very own private jet. With 23 Grand Prix races being held across five continents between March and November of 2022 alone, you can imagine that this Dassault Falcon 900EX that Max bought in 2020 has already been a good investment. According to internet reports, this giant jet used to belong to none other than Richard Branson, who sold it to Max for estimated $15 million, boasting Honeywell engines and a maximum distance of almost 9,000 kilometers on one take of gas. The plane can also reach top speeds of up to 892 kilometers per hour. Meanwhile, the interior of the cabin includes an all glass flight deck, a wet bar, 12 seats that can be reclined to form beds, and a shower too. Best of all, whenever a teammate like Daniel Rochardo needs a ride back to Monaco, Max is too happy to oblige. And sure, neither his personal jet nor his penthouse suite appears to be all that large, but Max Verstappen is still young and has all the time in the world to sow his wild oats. In recent news, Formula One superstar Lewis Hamilton not only had a victory on the track, but also with his real estate. He just sold his New York City penthouse for a whopping $49.5 million, banking almost $6 million in the process. The three-level apartment boasts 12,000 square feet of space and features like a private elevator and 20-foot high ceilings. Aside from this, Lewis is known for his stacked real estate portfolio, which includes his $24 million London mansion, a luxury condo in Monaco, and much more. Today, we're going to take a look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Lewis Hamilton is a British racing driver currently competing in Formula One for Mercedes and formerly driving for McLaren from 2007 to 2012. He has won a record seven World Drivers Championship titles and holds the records for most wins, podium finishes, and more. Lewis is also well known for helping Formula One grow globally, partly because of his high profile lifestyle and interests outside of the sport. Being one of the most marketable drivers of all time, Lewis has amassed an estimated net worth of over $280 million. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this time checking out the homes of Lewis Hamilton, including his Manhattan abode, which was just sold. Don't forget to like, subscribe, Subscribe and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Just for a bit of a background, Lewis is quite a property collector at the highest level. Over the years, the world-class racer has snagged a portfolio of opulent homes across the globe's fanciest capitals. He is the proud owner of a luxury apartment in Geneva, Switzerland, and while we don't have photos of the place, it sounds very impressive. Situated above a six-level structure in Lund's village, Nyon, several racing drivers are rumored to own apartments here from Michael Schumacher to Fernando Alonso and more. Lewis's charming Geneva abode boasts two spacious bedrooms and an amazing view of Geneva Lake, along with a warm and welcoming living room. There is also a fully equipped kitchen and massive bathroom. The place also offers a small gym with all the state-of-the-art facilities you'd need for top-level training, while the building, while well, it's located in an upscale area of Geneva, where the F1 star loves to hang out. Moving across the map a little bit, one of Lewis's most luxurious residences is located in Kensington, West London, which is a sprawling mansion rumored to be worth $25 million. The former owner of the lavish crib was Burberry chief designer Christopher Bailey, while back in 1860 when the home was built, Samuel Johns was a leading architect, so this place definitely has some history. 
Lewis bought the home in 2017 and it comes with six fancy bedrooms, four reception rooms, and two huge bathrooms. We also know this home has a massive kitchen and dining room for entertaining guests, along with a whopping four floors, and there's even a 200 foot green garden with a posh summer house. If that's not enough, there are a handful of guest quarters on the property too. Many F1 drivers also love spending time in Monaco, and Lewis is no different. His upscale apartment is in the elite Fontville district, which boasts a population of only about 3,000 people. It's located in a northern part of the small country of Monaco, and the 27 floor building was designed by renowned architect Gio Ponti, with Lewis's unit being one of the nicest ones of them all. According to reports, the Star Racer spent an estimated $15 million on this property, which boasts 5 bedrooms and 4 baths over 6,500 square feet of space. His Monaco getaway also offers a 300 square foot terrace and elsewhere a steam room. Some of the amenities in this building include a heated swimming pool, a full fitness center and a miniature park. Not to mention, security is foolproof. Apparently, when Lewis is staying here, he spends most of his time at the gym and the sauna. Now for the final attraction, Lewis's amazing New York City real estate. The star not only loves Europe, but also has an affinity towards America, especially the Big Apple, where he's owned two properties. He bought this first apartment back in 2017, located in the trendy Tribeca neighborhood of Manhattan for $44 million. The insane three-floor apartment offers over 12,000 square feet of living space along with six bedrooms and six baths. Other features include a fully stocked chef's kitchen, private elevator right to the unit, as well as soaring 20-foot tall ceilings. This building used to be a bookbinding factory before it was transformed into one of the most in-demand spots in NYC to live. Lewis's unit also boasts access to a 70-foot swimming pool, a gym, Turkish bath courtyard and lounge area. Oh, and he also has two private parking spots, which is a luxury in this city. Despite the beauty of this home, Lewis just sold it in December 2021 for a crazy $49.5 million, banking about $5.6 million in the process for himself. Whoever bought the crib will be surrounded by other celebrities, including Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel, and even Harry Styles just to name a few famous faces who also live in this building. Now, before you think Lewis is leaving New York City for good, that's not the case. In 2019, he spent over $43 million on a Manhattan penthouse that's part of a condo project partly owned by NFL star Tom Brady and his wife Giselle Bunchen. This stunning spread covers 6,547 square feet of space throughout and the amazing master suite boasts views of the Hudson River. Just look at how great those are. The kitchen is modern and spacious, stacked with expensive appliances and plenty of room to entertain, including a sunny breakfast nook. There's also an open plan living area with a ton of windows showing the same amazing views. If that's not enough, Lewis can also enjoy a cozy library, huge and private outdoor area, as well as a wine cellar. In the building itself, residents have access to amenities such as a swimming pool, fitness center, squash court, and more. Neighbors include the likes of Jennifer Lawrence and Mike Myers here. All right, so now we've taken a look at the homes of Lewis Hamilton, so I think I'll wrap up this house tour here. We gotta check out his New York City properties, including the one he just sold for almost $50 million and the one he kept in the city, as well as what we know about some of his places scattered around the globe such as his homes in Europe. What did you guys think? I think Lewis has built up quite the crazy real estate portfolio over the years, but I wouldn't expect anything less with his lavish In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Lando Norris is the youngest British F1 driver in the history of the sport, and someone who has been racing under the McLaren banner for a number of years. More than just driving for the second most successful Formula One racing team, of all time, Lando's ties to McLaren run so deep that the young man chose to live much of his early adult life right beside the $300 million McLaren Technology Center located in the district of Woking. When asked why he chose to live so close to where he works day in and day out, Norris has always cited his desire to learn as much as possible about his profession. For instance, he once told Motorsport.com, there was still a lot more to gain from me in my career to being at 
McLaren and being able to go in whenever I wanted to. Whenever I had a bad weekend, I could just go in on whatever day to be on the simulator to try things, speaking to my engineers, and so on. And I love England. It's still probably my favorite place to be. He's also been quick to point out that this area of the country has a few very enjoyable golf courses that he likes to go to and spend a lot of his off time at. And while Norris has not yet become one of racing's highest paid drivers as the son of retired pensions manager Adam Norris, one of the richest people in all of the UK, Lando has naturally owned a pretty sweet pad to call home while living in nearby Surrey. He showed it off to Sky Sports during the height of the pandemic back in 2020. For a lot of us, Lando Norris's home would probably come off a little bare bones and underdressed, but for a bachelor living on his own who's more or less all about his career, this lux space with a white and gray interior includes everything he needs. For instance, no self-respecting driver would be without a memorabilia room where they can showcase the hardware they've picked up throughout their career, and Lando, he's no different. Here, he not only keeps his helmets from past seasons, but the various trophies he's won along the way, including multiple Auto Sport British Driver of the Year awards. What's more, Lando's home comes complete with a spacious kitchen that boasts white marble countertops, gray cabinets, and a fridge full of protein. Being the athlete he is, his home also includes a home gym as well, even if it probably is the worst version of such a thing you've ever seen a professional use in your life. Inside Norris's gym is a massage table, a sofa, a jumping box, and not a whole lot else. Sounds more like a man cave if you ask me, and a lonely one at that. Thankfully, Norris has got a bit more going on outside in his garden, where he likes to keep all of his weights and take part in the bulk of his exercising when he's breaking a sweat from home. Of course, no F1 driver's home would be complete without their very own sim room, and this space is by far the most complete room in Norris's original English home. Really, it makes sense, especially when you consider how much time he must spend in there refining his reaction time and figuring out what all those buttons do. Lando Norris lived out of this home for the first seven years years of his career. Then in 2021, he decided to pack up shop and move to every F1 driver's favorite place to live, Monaco. After years spent denying that he'd ever do such a thing, Lando Norris eventually decided to ditch his life in England for the glamorous lifestyle that comes along with living in Monaco. The decision wasn't exactly made in an instant though. Shortly before the move, Norris earned himself a significant extension with McLaren, leaving him with more disposable income than ever. Before that, he had always been hesitant to pack up and leave, telling English media like The Sun, I'm happy in Surrey and enjoy my cold English weather and playing golf. It is just about having fun, being with mates, and seeing family when I want, and it is all easy and I enjoy that. I just want to live my life normally. If I moved to Monaco, I would not enjoy it. I don't want to do my job in F1 and not enjoy the things around it. Well, something about signing his name on the dotted line of that contract extension must have changed how Norris felt because right around the same time his new deal was announced, he revealed over on social media that he had found a new place in Monaco. Lando quietly secured an apartment for himself in the Principality of Monaco at the tail end of 2021 and by 2022 he was already all moved in. Now Norris runs the risk of bumping into his F1 rivals living in the area too like like Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton, two of the very best to ever do it. He'll also have to contend with criticisms being flung his way from fans and media who believe most drivers move to this area of the world to escape paying significant taxes in their paycheck. When asked if that became a determining factor on his decision to move, Norris told Motorsport.com, of course I'll understand and there's gonna be some criticism for sure, but people do many things in life for money. This is just another one. Norris would further suggest that with the relative relatively short career span of an F1 driver, he has to do everything he can to set himself up for the future. Telling Racing News, that is the deciding factor in all of this. I said before I wouldn't have moved to Monaco, but things changed, and with that, my happiness and my enjoyments are above everything. Outside of that one glimpse he offered on social media, suggesting that his new apartment has a nice view, Lando has refrained from showing off more to his fans. The only part of his new home he has revealed on Online is his sim room, which he unveiled in a YouTube video for his very own gaming company, Quadrant. Now, Lando's all decked out with not
not only a brand new high tech setup that'll serve him perfectly for when he's looking to get a little extra training in, but also a top of the line streaming package as well. That's important to point out because despite the move, Norris promises to keep in touch with his fans back in England by streaming on Twitch and not letting the incredible nightlife of Monaco prevent him from continuing to build a relationship with his followers. Outside of that, all we know for sure about his new place is what he's told the press. Namely, that this apartment is much smaller than his home back in Surrey. That being said, the location is reportedly great. As for the one drawback, now that his place is so much smaller, whenever his friends come by for a visit, they end up staying at a nearby hotel. But considering the average level of accommodations in Monaco, I can't imagine they'll feel too bad about that. Now that he's moved on from his formerly rural life in the English countryside to something a little more cosmopolitan, we'll see how this change in lifestyle ultimately affects Norris's racing career. Not that it's gone all that well for him lately, but hey, there's always a few bugs that need to be worked out after every major life change. Here's hoping that Lando Norris can find the right balance now that he's living in paradise over in Monaco. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. Before you race out of here, do me a favor and consider answering the following question. What would be your favorite part about living in Monaco? Let me know what about this one of a kind place would draw you in. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara. If you enjoyed this peek into the F1 racing lifestyle, then why not stay tuned to our look inside the homes of Max Verstappen coming up next. I'll see you all next time. Bye. At the age of just 17 years old, Max Verstappen became the youngest ever athlete to compete as a Formula One driver at the Australian Grand Prix in 2015. In fact, Max competed for about a year in Formula One before he ever obtained his actual run-of-the-mill driver's license. Since then, he's now taken home the Formula One World Championship twice while driving for Red Bull Racing. Throughout his still relatively short career, Max has amassed a small fortune worth roughly $40 million, making him the second best paid driver in the sport behind Lewis Hamilton, according to Forbes magazine. When this young dynamo isn't crisscrossing his way all over the world as fast as he possibly can, you'll find him slowing down just enough to enjoy his life at home, located in Fontvie, Monaco, a gorgeous spot that overlooks a plentiful number of super yachts, Harbored in Cap Dai. The day after he turned 18 years old, Max Verstappen moved out of his parents' place and into an apartment that's the ideal type of bachelor pad millions of males his own age fantasize about owning. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Something that Max himself hinted at when he was asked why he chose Monaco as his home away from home. Home. Telling the Gentleman's Journal, one of the best things about living in Monaco is the quality of life. I think where you choose to live is really important when you're away a lot. Of course, Max Verstappen is far from the only F1 star who's chosen to live in this glittering and pristine city state. Other stars like Lewis Hamilton, Charles Leclerc, and Lando Norris have also put down roots here. Probably because Monaco is well known all around the world for two things its luxurious surroundings, and its ability to function as a tax-free haven for residents. Over the years, whenever he's been asked, Max has insisted that he did not select his home because of the implicit tax benefits. And while you might not believe that, one thing that's kinda working in Max's favor is that he doesn't actually own his home. When Max Verstappen moved to Monaco, he didn't put any money down on his apartment that's rumored to be worth as much as $16 million. Instead, he decided to rent it. To me, that suggests that Max doesn't plan on spending the rest of his life living out of Monaco. He's probably just looking to capitalize on the wild social life it has to offer, especially considering how young he still is. And is it any surprise that after a night out on the town, Max is occasionally had to stumble home a little worse for wear? That video also provided us with just about the best glimpse we've ever had of inside Max's place, showing off an apartment that's simple, but 
but spacious and includes white walls as well as wooden floors. While Max has been hesitant to reveal other parts of his apartment online, a few glimpses of the inside have occasionally slipped through the cracks such as this look into his chic lounge area. This room boasts a cowhide rug underneath a modern black coffee table and some unique animal artwork hanging on the walls. Once while packing for a business trip, Max also gave us a peek into his stylish bedroom that comes complete with a padded headboard with a geometric detailing and a matching black bed linen. One of the things Max spends the most amount of time at home doing is keeping himself in peak physical condition. He does so with a home gym that takes full advantage of Monaco's typical 300 days a year of sunshine with most of his equipment having been set up on a lengthy stretch of balcony that overlooks the Mediterranean Sea. Known as Max's happy place, this gym boasts necessary equipment like kettlebell weights, an exercise bike, and a frame for bungee poles that ensures an intense cardiovascular endurance, strength, and high intensity workouts. According to Max's performance coach, Bradley Skeins, Max trains six times a week with two sessions a day for seven to eight weeks at a time. And going by some of the workout regimens that he's posted online, I don't doubt that he is always pushing himself to the limits. One of the more unusual workout devices Max owns is a piece of equipment that's specifically built to build up the muscles in his neck so that he can endure a maximum speed of six Gs while taking a tight turn during a race. Paying attention to details like neck extension along with lateral flexion is what helps set Max apart from the other athletes in his sport. And another thing that he takes more seriously than almost anyone else is his virtual training. Whenever Max returns home to Monaco, he loves to hop into his sim racer, which he generally doesn't let anyone else go near. This high-end simulation racing arcade machine set Max back thousands of dollars, especially considering that he had his custom made with a play seat ultimate f1 cockpit worth $2,800, an LM Pro steering wheel that retails for $1,800, a set of ultimate pedals that cost roughly $1,100, and a sim steering system that could cost as much as four grand. When he isn't on the road, Max hops into this simulator every day and races as a member of his sim racing organization Team Redline. In between racing online and in real life, he'll occasionally ease up on the throttle by taking to the water instead of the land. With that gorgeous Monaco Harbor sitting just outside his home, is it any surprise to learn that Max has been recorded riding a number of jet skis in and around the coast? In point of fact, relaxing on the open water is one of Max's favorite pastimes. And he once told the Gentleman's Journal, Sometimes you just take the boat and park it up somewhere in a little bay, or you take the jet skis out, explore the coast, and have a bit of fun. Doing that in Monaco sounds so enjoyable, it should probably be illegal. Speaking of fun, with as popular a driver as Max has become an F1 over these past few years and the intrigue that comes with living in a spot as wealthy as Monaco, the folks who sponsor Max over at Red Bull decided to capitalize on all that interest by creating an interactive game that allows Max's fans to take a tour of a cartoonish version of his home base. Sure, by no means it represents what Max's apartment actually looks like, but for those of you interested in his story, playing through the game will provide you with a bit more backstory on his come up and how he enjoys living in Monaco. All right, before we finish, let's take a look at one last place, Max's home away from home in the sky. This next location might not be somewhere that Max actually lives, but considering how often he has to cross the globe to get from one race to the next, he sure does spend a lot of time in inside of his very own private jet. With 23 Grand Prix races being held across five continents between March and November of 2022 alone, you can imagine that this Dassault Falcon 900EX that Max bought in 2020 has already been a good investment. According to internet reports, this giant jet used to belong to none other than Richard Branson, who sold it to Max for estimated $15 million, boasting Honeywell engines and a maximum distance of almost 9,000 kilometers on one take of gas. The plane can also reach top speeds 
of up to 892 kilometers per hour. Meanwhile, the interior of the cabin includes an all glass flight deck, a wet bar, 12 seats that can be reclined to form beds, and a shower too. Best of all, whenever a teammate like Daniel Rochardo needs a ride back to Monaco, Max is too happy to oblige. And sure, neither his personal jet nor his penthouse suite appears to be all that large, but Max Verstappen is still young and has all the time in the world to sow his wild oats. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching, and before you head out, consider answering the following question. If you were ever to move to Monaco, what would its biggest selling point be? Let me know if you're more about those open waters and the scenery or those tax-free savings in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat. And if you enjoyed watching this tour of F1 driver Max Verstappen's home, then stay tuned as we check out the homes of his rival, Lewis Hamilton. I'll see you all next time. Bye.